Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at words uh, from Unit 13. These are words that have a VCCV pattern. And what's that? Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Okay. So uh, the first word is bargain. Bar a bargain is something offered or bought at a low price. For example, the woman in the picture, she found a bargain at this sale because she is getting something at a low price, 70% off according to the picture. Journey, journey a trip, especially one over a great distance. For example, if this guy wants to go to the uh, Everest summit, well, he's going to uh, engage on a, on a journey, okay? He's, this will be a journey to go up there, okay? A very long trip. Um, by the way, if you see the cluster that we were uh, saying at the beginning, VTCB, uh, we have vowel, U, R, N are the consonants, and E is the vowel. And in bargain, we have A, R, G, S consonants, and A as vowel. You will find clusters like that inside all the words. However, in some words, the consonant will be repeated. For example, our next word pattern, here we have vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. And the consonant is the letter T, which is uh, repeated, okay? A pattern is an artistic design used for decoration. Uh, like the ones we have here, we have different patterns, okay, to fill maybe uh, figures that we draw online. But also a pattern, uh, we call a pattern when we, you want to sew uh, a, piece of, a piece of clothing, uh, like a, pan, a pair of pants or a shirt, uh, all the pieces you need to cut follow a pattern, okay? This is the pattern, for example, for this model of uh, slacks or um, pair of pants, okay? Arrive, arrive is to reach a place, like when a plane arrives, okay? Uh, object is something that has a shape and can be felt or seen, if we use it as a noun, but if we pronounce it object, it's a verb and express and, and it's an expression of opposing view or argument. Okay, uh, to object is to do that. Like when you, when you see lawyers in a court saying, "I object." Okay, well that's uh, to express uh, that they are not in agreement with something. Okay, suppose is to guess or to imagine. Shoulder is a part of the body between the neck and the upper arm. This is a shoulder, okay? Between the neck and the upper arm. Permit or permit, okay? It can be a noun or a verb. Here's only the, um, the meaning for the verb. Um, most uh, parking lots, for example, will not permit you to um, park on special uh, spots that are uh, assigned to handicapped people unless you have a permit on your car, okay? That allows you to park there. Uh, sorrow is grief or sadness caused by loss or, or injury, okay? This uh, girl here is uh, feeling sorrow or feels, uh, she's, Experiencing that a tunnel, an underground uh, or underwater passage. In this case, this is underground. It has uh, a mountain on top, or the the tunnels that you usually go through when you are going to Maikatia or to the beach. You have to pass three tunnels. Um, subject: something thought about or discussed. A topic. For example, your school subjects, you have uh, naturaleza, you have lengua, uh, um, grammar, spelling, okay? All those are subjects. Custom, an accepted practice or usual way 
followed by people of a particular group or religion. For example, American people during the, the month of November celebrate a custom um, dinner, okay, which is called is, uh, the Thanksgiving dinner, and they usually prepare custom dishes, which are dishes that are usually prepared in a usual way, so they are a custom. Uh, suggest is a verb that it means to offer for consideration or action. For example, if you are at, like in, here in the picture, you are at, uh, at a bookstore and someone is looking at novels and you read, you already read a novel that was very good and you want to uh, suggest uh, the other person to read the one that you already read. Okay, so it's a suggestion. You suggest them is that you are offering them for consideration. Uh, perhaps is a formal way to say maybe. Okay, it, it means the same, it means possibly. A lawyer, a person trained or qualified to give legal advice to clients and represent them in a court of law. Here we have a lawyer. Uh, timber, trees, or wooded land considered as a source of wood. Common, belonging to or shared equally by all. For example, here in the picture, we have our common court that we all share at school. Okay, We share it during a recess or when you want to play some games. And it's equally shared by all of us. All of us have the same uh, access to it. Okay. Uh, it's our common court. Uh, publish is to print and to offer for public sale or distribution, like when a writer publishes a book. But right um, nowadays, uh, when we have all this social media, uh, you publish information there. You publish your pictures, and they are uh, for public opinion. And not necessarily everyone. But for a limited public, if you have your profile private, for example, but you are publishing because you are uh, showing it to all this uh, public. Um, burden is something that is carried, a load, a heavy load. Uh, scissors, scissors, a cutting tool consisting of two blades with a ring and a, sh a ring shaped handle. Okay. Um, this is a pair of scissors. Okay, because we have two here, okay, although it's one tool. And you all have one on your um, backpack or, or your tools for school, okay? Perfect is having no flaws, mistakes, or defects. For example, when you see uh, sports competition, gymnastics, for example, and uh, the person who is performing uh, does it very, very well and has no flaws or mistakes or errors, uh, the judges give them a perfect 10 because it was perfect, okay? It had no flaws. Danger, danger is a chance or risk of harm or destruction. Usually you, you can find this type of signs uh, near a source of danger to warn you. Narrow is small or limited in width. For example, a funeral. A funeral has a, a wide opening on one side and a narrow opening on the other side. You see, narrow, wide. Survive. Survive means to stay alive or in existence. For example, uh, when somebody survives a plane crash, okay, this girl survived this uh, accident, okay, so she's a survivor. She, she survived. Or survived. Um, valley, a region of lowlands between mountains or hills. Okay, you know this from science. Narrate, tell, to tell in speech or writing. Mentor, a wise and trusted advisor that usually helps other per another person to become um, uh, or to master. Uh, something or some skill that he is an expert on. Uh, attempt. Attempt is a uh, try uh, to perform or make or achieve something. 
for example, when you're trying to reach the tar the center of the target, you make several attempts uh, until you finally get to the center of the target. So this person who was making attempts here is very, very bad because uh, most of them are on the floor. Okay, um, collide is to strike together with force, okay? Like these hockey players, they are colliding, they are striking together, okay, with force. And ignore is to pay no attention to. Uh, these two persons, one is talking and the other one is ignoring uh, what he's saying because it's paying no attention. It's la 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 la, you know. Uh, not paying attention is ignoring, to ignore. Okay, so you will work on the six pages of your spelling book, okay? Uh, pages are 92, 95, 90, 91, 92, 93, 4 and 5, okay? And you will upload them into academia, okay? You have till Thursday, January 21st, okay? And well, guys, this is all for today. And thank you very much for watching.